So I am really fascinated with the design of Crosby Soho, having also stayed in uh, the Dorset Square Hotel. There are several of these hotels, but the brainchild behind the design, and especially the interior design, is Kit Campton. This is her book right here, A Living Space. And what I've garnered from her sort of intelligent approach is pretty much what she says right here. Uh, I have one design rule, and that is there are no rules. If I can give you any advice, it is don't be afraid to give it a go. If someone comes in halfway through the design process and has an opinion contrary to yours, then send them away until you are done. And always remember to keep it personal. I would never have anything in our hotels that I wouldn't have in my own home. Design is a private, intimate process, and you have to embrace the many twists and turns it takes to creating an inspiring, but ultimately livable space. And speaking of livable space, this space, we have determined, is all you need to live in. I mean, it is basically this entry, this living room, which can also function as a dining room if you want to be. Obviously, the bedroom in suite with the, with the bathroom. There are very little tweaks here in this amount of space, and that's all we're going to need as we get older. And, of course, the view is spectacular. But again, um, I give so much credit to Kit and Tim Kemp, who are the creators of Ferndale Properties uh, International. And I encourage you to uh, make it um, a promise for this coming year that you will investigate uh, one of their hotels and make it a special occasion and memory for yourselves. Nancy Tudor, Lexico Living, Huffington Post Travel, join us as we take you on our personal journeys.